it's always important to think like what are the benefits and negative aspects of CDBCs, right? Um, the benefits of them are, you know, you'd have it be more efficient than what they currently do. I mean, like if you think about all the advances we've made in some some areas, like and the fact that it, you know, if you want to send money to someone in a different country, it can take days for it to get there, and and the, all sorts of stuff that go on behind the scenes to make that stuff happen. So there's some level of increased in uh, increased efficiency there. But in the same regard, like a lot of that stuff, crypto kind of solves as well, uh, and not at the expense of increased surveillance. I think that's the biggest thing that that people are worried about is, you know, if there's a CBDC, the government's going to be able to easily see everything that you do, um, and and that's not that's not I think going to go over well with a lot of people. And I think that's probably going to be one of the bull cases in the next, um, you know, like in the next few years and. Um, you know, people are, are likely going to go back into Bitcoin now. I mean, uh, and also because not just because of the CB, CDBC, but also just, you know, look, at, I mean, look at the uh, constant debasement of the U.S. dollar. Right. I mean, do you just want to sit in cash forever? I mean, I, I think there is a phase where cash is king and arguably we're still in that phase right now. But look, eventually, uh, eventually the, the, the truth is that cash is just going to is going to zero over the long haul. Right. I mean, if you look at the purchasing power of the U.S. dollar, it's just going down over you know every single year going back for a really long time